All right, guys, today we're going to be balancing a tire. So first step, once we get the tire off the vehicle, we're going to roll it up with the tire hoist, and we can lift it up, guide it in. That way we don't have to, to lift with our, uh, lift our back at all. Get this out of the way. Then we need to make sure and connect our, once we get up, first we need to find a cone that fits the hub center of our wheel. So on this particular wheel, we're going to come from the rear. So we're going to center it up with this cone in the rear of the wheel. So we're going to put that on first. come with this cone on our arbor it just snaps on so this cone is going to hit on the hub surface there where the lug nuts go then we're going to hold it in, in place snug and then use the toe of your shoe to push up on this pedal and that's going to clamp it into place and now it's ready to spin up on the machine once we have it mounted, it's pretty simple. This machine is fully automatic. It'll take all the measurements and everything itself. So all we have to do is lower the hood. It's gonna spin and it's gonna take the tire dimensions. And it's also gonna do a diagnostic scan on the tread wear and run out. Notice it spins fast at first, and then now it's slowing down and the lasers are scanning it. So it takes just a few moments. Once it's finished, it'll give us the results so we can lift the hood. This is telling us where the weights are going to be positioned. So this is indicating a stick-on weight here and a stick-on weight here. This particular wheel, we can use clip-on weights on the outside edge. So we're going to select the clip-on weight and the clip-on weight here. And if we select this, so this shows it in ounces. Ounces is the most common. So it's showing that we need half an ounce on the inside bead and three-quarters of an ounce on the outside bead. So it's pretty simple to do. Uh, this tire has weights on it already, so we're going to remove those and we'll spin it up again. So with the tire uh, wheel weight pliers, put this hook in that notch of the weight, like so, and pulls right off. So we're going to get those both off there, and we're going to spin it up again. So we need three quarters of an ounce on the inside and half an ounce on the outside. Right here, it is telling you with the arrows, when both green arrows are located, that is right where the, the weights are needed at 12 o'clock if you're using clip-on weight. So you can hold it in that position by depressing and holding the pedal. It'll hold it right there. If you're curious what kind of weight we have these, Weight identification cards, so the profile of the wheel fits on these, so you're going to match it up with the tire bead, just like so. So you can see which one fits best on this one. So I believe on this one a T weight is going to be the best one. So we're going to get a half ounce and a three quarter ounce. So we need a half ounce here on the outside bead. So the idea is to hold this at 12 o'clock. You can use this arbor as a reference. And like I said, you can hold it in place by standing on the pedal. You're gonna hit the clip. 
Now we want to go to this next position for the inside weight. So we're going to get that right at 12 o'clock. Then we can spin it up again. go. So we have a perfect balance. This toes shows the total balance. This is the individual balance. So a lot of information there. If we wanted to look at some of the other data, we have the exclamation point. This graphs out a radial run out. As you can see, the line graph moves along with it, and it gives you the measurements of these positions. So that's always good information to have. So that'll tell you if you have a radial run out in the tire itself. So here's like our low point right there, okay? We push this button, it gives us a, a uh, diagram of the tire wear. So it scanned this whole surface with the, labor, the laser and it tells you how, what that tread depth is. So essentially green is good, red is bad. It has a graph here. So this would be your inner bead, this would be your outer bead. So it shows you that live data all along here. So it tells you if your tire is worn out. So that's always an interesting one. This is a similar view. So it also gives you an idea. So it's showing there's a little bit of wear on this inside shoulder, which there is on this tire. A little bit worn more on this inside shoulder than the outside shoulder. Now if this tire if this tire had a real heavy spot and the wheel had a heavy spot, you could match mount the two together. What I mean, what I mean by match mount is you would put the heavy spot of the tire opposite of the heavy spot of the wheel. So we could do this procedure here. So all you have to do is select this position. So this gives you, <clears throat> you want to place your valve at 12 o'clock. So we're going to push the button. Proceed. It tells you to put a mark on it. So you want to put a mark on the tire when our arrows turn green. So right there. So we will put a mark here on our tire. Then we would break down the tire on the tire machine and we would rotate this mark to where it matches the valve stem, okay? And then we would reinstall, rebalance, and go from there. So real handy if you have a tire that has a lot of run out. On this screen, if you're doing a wheel and tire that uses stick-on weights, all you need to do is select where the stick-on weight would go. If you're using a stick-on weight on the inside bead, you would depress this. You want to do a stick-on weight out here in the wheel center area for the outside weight, you would depress this. And now that particular weight would be laser guided. So if there's a weight needed there, it would have a laser on our uh, tire exactly where it's needed. So if you see here, that's indicating where the stick on weight would go for the inside bead. And that tells you where the laser tells us where to put the stick-on weight for an outside bead if we're doing stick-on weights. So pretty simple. If we ever needed to change the unit as far as the weight, you can just press the ounce or grams and that toggles between the two. So pretty simple there. This, If you touch this total wheel weight, it'll do a, a 
regular static balance versus dynamic. We prefer dynamic, so it'll balance both sides. So most of our wheel weights are in ounces. Should be clearly stamped on the weight. So this is a 0.5, so a half ounce weight. But we do have a few weights in some of the European sizes that are in grams. So make sure and check which weight you're using. So pretty simple, guys. So to get the wheel back off, we need to take this blocking collar off. So all we do is use the toe of our shoe, tip up on that. It's going to disengage this. Then we can use our wheel lift. To lift our wheel off. So save your back. Use the lift. If you were to have a wheel like this that has a small wheel hub center on it, we still need to center the wheel on our arbor. <clears throat> so you could find a wheel center that fits that back side. And that works okay sometimes, but ideally uh, you would want to pull that center from the front side. So this mounts up a little different. Part of that reason is, is if we had a cone on the back to center it up, if you put this on the front, there's a strong possibility that this surface could scratch the wheel. Some of these wheels are thousands of dollars on newer cars, so you want to make sure and uh, take the precautions not to damage them. So on this particular wheel, I'll show you how to chuck it up with the outside cone. Outside cone is real similar, so make sure you don't have a cone on the inside. So it needs to be that flat surface on the inside. We'll take this cone, we'll put it on the outside, slide it all the way in. On our arbor here, just pop this off, this plastic cone here. And then we can use this part. It mates in the back of there. Use the toe of your shoe, tip it up, and it'll clamp it in snug. So that's how you would outside, use an outside cone to center up a wheel. So pretty simple process. So once you get it, once you get it uh, mounted up, all you got to do is lower the hood. It's going to take it from there. 